be YouTube. What's good? Vinny Matthews here. Thanks for checking out the channel. But boy, Chris Brown, aka we don't love these black hoes. I mean, uh -uh, I mean, these hoes ain't loyal. <laughs> of course they ain't loyal, man. They ain't black queens, man. God damn it. Now, if you don't already know, Chris Brown is under some great fire ass heat right now because of a song that he did called Need a Stack slandering the black woman let me show you exactly what the boy said he says only wanna f with the black bees with the nice hair oh what about the other woman what about the black woman with the kinky dreads what about the black woman with the kinky hair texture you're telling me that you only want the black woman with the loose curls that got a little mix of cherokee but they really don't but they really don't know the history but they just gonna go with it because seemed a little bit more attractive he's telling the world hey y'all black hoes with the nappy hair uh-uh and it concerns me because now I see everybody on the internet attacking this dude and this dude is just not having it. For example, an Instagram page called Black Girl Are It says, so is this considered a preference or a discrimination? Listen, we all have preferences, I'll give you that. Never will I discriminate against my own kind. Hashtag Chris Brown don't love these black hoes. See, Breezy came back with a fire comeback talking about weird ass angry people. Sincerely, from the bottom of my balls, I don't give a F about y'all negative booty face ABs. I'm starting giving away free lace fronts for all you weird females with the skid row edges and low self esteem. Aside from that, hop off these nuts. Half y'all look like the Budweiser frogs. <laughs> oh, snap. Not the Budweiser frogs. <laughs> Let me get back to this. So please don't come with that BS. I will fire that ass up and roast the hell out of you overly sensitive duckhead A weirdos. God dang, Chris Brown, take it easy. Now the whole internet is just torn into two and let me show you guys some example of what people are actually saying. This person is saying, serious question, I really want some explanation on the whole Chris Brown comment with the only loving black girls with nice hair. How is this so offensive? They trash women all day in rap songs and girls are mad about hair comments? I'm just not really seeing the race card here. Another person says, Chris Brown taking a jab at black women in his new song? Why am I not surprised? Chris Brown has never been an uplifter of sisters, yet black women have always protected him. Next, another person says, as soon as men have a preference, all oh, y'all want to get emotional and slander us, but women can be picky and specific as F, and nobody bets I. Get out y'all feelings about Chris Brown said, I don't know if y'all got the memo, but black men like natural women head to toe. Last comment I'm going to read is, what did Chris Brown mean he only want to have sex with black girls with good hair? We back on this ish? What the heck? is good hair my guy and she has a good point you know what is really considered good hair these days you know is it the looser texture or is it the kinkiness but of course chris brown my nigga came back with the ha 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 y'all tripping tripping y'all bees don't want to f with the n word with the effed up teeth do you only bees upset is the uglies not the black queens now, if you ask me personally about this subject, man, I think um, I'm really torn in between because I'm trying to see both sides. You know, on Chris Brown's side, I'm sure he's just an artist just expressing how he feels. And if he has a preference, he does have the right to have that preference. But on the other side, just because one have a preference doesn't mean you have to slander everybody else, okay? I don't know this dude personally, so I don't really know what he really cares about or what's his type. I could care less. Honestly, man, I didn't even get a chance to get to this song. This album has like 30, 38, 32 songs, and I'm still on number four. Jeez, I didn't even get to the no, the no Guidance song yet with Drake. I don't want to play no game, play no games. F around, give you my land name. I, I haven't had a chance to, so like, I'm very shocked about what's going on right now. But in the end of the day, man, Chris Brown... I think that you just need to protect your peace. Like, you know, you said what you said. You don't have to prove yourself. You know, it's already on the it's already on the track. It's already on the record. It's going to be there forever. Man, I don't know how you're going to take this, man. But, like, having millions of people just disagreeing with you and putting so much negativity in your life, 
I'm sure you don't want that, you know, and I know personally I don't want that. And instead of attacking everybody else about trying to correct what I was actually meant to say, I would just put it out there like, hey, it's not even like that. This is what I meant. You know, I'm sorry if you guys took that way and go about my day. You know, I don't have time to care about other people's opinions. And I guess it's different for him because he is a celebrity. So people do look up to him and his main core base is black females so it's it's kind of rough on his hand man but i think you know we guys should back up a little bit and just let this guy you know get some guidance and you know <laughs> no guidance with drake but you know give this guy a chance to you know redeem himself and just maybe learn a little bit about his culture you know it's kind of hard to tell somebody it's like the oj effect you know i'm not black i'm oj like once you get to a certain level of fame you start forgetting about your culture or where you come from but um you know that's just my personal opinion man like you know so i do love chris brown i'm a fan of his I don't agree with everything he says, but hey, this guy does make good music, and that's not an excuse. You know, educate yourself, guys. It doesn't matter how much money you have. You can still be broke in your head. With that being said, everybody, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you guys enjoy your day. This is Vinny Matthews, everybody. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I am out.